Hello everybody, this is the Lone Coyote here. Today, I'm excited to start my very first SMP. I will be playing on Minecraft Bedrock Edition on the Realms. I will be playing with Ace Valence and Patriot Productions. Let's get started. This is going to be fun. Okay, so we have a survival multiplayer. We're gonna play on the Bedrock Edition and it is called Harmony Craft. And we're all gonna die, but it's gonna be epic. <laughs> yes. Trust, trust me, trust me, I'm not lying. We're all gonna die. Hello? What's Nobody. Up? Nobody likes you. Nobody likes you. Nobody will ever like you. I just got so many achievements. <laughs> I just, there we go, yep. Just give me all the achievements. <laughs> it's like the sixth achievement. <laughs> Here we are in the mines. Um, I am strip mining, looking for diamonds. So far, I found four diamonds, a single vein of four diamonds, which I'm hoping to find more. Uh, yeah, I have a little base down here, place to sort store some random stuff. I have in my inventory, but. Hoping to be finding some more diamonds soon. After mining for a little while, here is what I've got. Some other random stuff in here. And here is all. Yeah, four diamonds. Oh yes, I've been building my house as well. Here is my first house. Um I like it. I think it's uh, unique. I'm going for the elvish style. We'll see uh, if I change how I build that, but I'm satisfied with how this one turned out. I haven't done the interior yet, so right now I just have a bed. Um, but I'll start working on that soon enough. I also want to transform this into a big archway. I have plans for that. Let's see if I can get that done later this episode. And let's see what you've got. Hmm. Nothing useful. Well, uh... He's gone. Oh, cool. Leads. Yeah. I have also started breeding up some... I've, I've tamed a couple wolves and I've been breeding them up. Um, I'm trying to see if I can have a use for that. Maybe a farm down in the future. For the house, I went with the spruce wood because that's the forest that it is on the edge of. As you know, kind of the base, the the beams holding it up, holding the structure up, and then. I went for a mixed uh, stone. So we have cobblestone, stone brick, and then regular stone. I started, I built the whole thing out of cobblestone, and then I added the other stones afterward to make it look a little bit 
have more texture. I like the new chain block right here. That's nice. Let's see if I can use, start using that more. Uh, the roof I kept completely cobblestone. I thought it looked good how it is without blending the other stone types. Over here I have a window, a lantern, and a flower pot. Then more blended texture. Here's the back. I have a back door as well. Here. And then this side over here. And I like how it turned out. The front view is probably my favorite right here. I feel the elf elvish style and here we are I'm gonna start working on the interior and let's see where it goes see that fox a little way in the distance let's see if I can catch that one After a little bit of work, I have finished the base around the nether portal, and I'm ready to journey into the nether. Here we go. That's just insane. 
somebody to trade with. Oh, a couple of somebodies. Um, I don't think I brought enough building blocks, but uh, we'll see. It'll be fine for now. I still have some gold armor. Very weak. Okay, and that was a close one right there. See? I tell you, these things are some of the most dangerous things in the nether. They can follow you anywhere. They can jump up anything. And then when they bounce out like that, they could double bounce, so if you're close to them, they can kill you. Possibly. I don't have a saddle yet, so I can't ride a strider. Unfortunately. But. Let me make a crafting table really quickly. And so, the strategy here, you know. Make a crafting table. Okay. And with the crafting table. Put these blocks into gold, and then throw that to them. Like that. Probably should have saved some. For a new helmet. But, actually no boots. Okay, so I'm going to make some boots really quick. Because if I do that, and I put them on. If these ones break, I will still have some gold armor and the idea there if I have gold armor I shouldn't be attacked for no reason because that is really unfortunate when everybody's against you that's why I kind of liked uh, zombie pigmen zombified piglins now but they don't attack you in the nether unless you attack them um, which makes less enemies very convenient so we got some crying obsidian, some gravel, some quartz, some nether brick, you know, just some random stuff there. Yeah, I'm gonna bring this with me in case I need it. And I'm gonna go in search of a crimson forest because I was unable to find See that's what I'm talking about, my armor breaking Oh that would be great if I could make them shoot each other Seems a little bit difficult but I'm sure it's possible to assume where they're going to be. Huh. Despawn. Do you like the idea of despawning now? I mean, I have always, but I like how things can despawn. Because before, you're always stuck with something. The only thing now is you have to really make sure you have name tags, which I didn't get any right This could be a mistake. Um, I guess we're going to find out. Mistake? Or... Good idea. Hmm. Guess we'll find out. fire charges but at the moment they're not useful just because I mean I already have a flint steel but you know maybe it'll come in handy later 
Now, Soul Sand Valley. This is one of the places I wanted to find. Oh, I did forget about the skeletons. That could be unfortunate. Double skeleton action. Not really what I'm hoping for right now. Dang. They are really feisty. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, and he's following me. Well, he got me. So I might have to come back to this eventually. I am just not in any position to take on these mobs. Even skeletons are giving me issues. But I will continue the journey another time. We'll see if I helped him despawn. Assisted in the uh, despawn. Say that because I do really want soul sand. So I'm gonna risk it. Sometimes you gotta have a little bit of risk in your life. I'm more scared of the skeletons actually. Gasts can blow things up, but... But they constantly shoot you. But, at the moment, life's a little bit too dangerous to stay in here. So it looks like I'm gonna have to head out. I do have backup food. So, let's eat some and race. And this is my cue to head out. Again, I know, I just can't get out of this place because there's so many things I want to explore. Um, but that will have to be in a future episode because that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you enjoyed the first episode of Harmony Craft, I suggest that you come back for episode two. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. If you steal my burger from me, you got issues.